Hello and welcome to our first screencast for our bioinformatics class. My name is Dr. Barry Grant. I am faculty within the section of molecular biology here in the Division of Biological Sciences at UC San Diego and I'm your course director. Now you can always find uh, additional course content including videos such as this one and all, uh, in fact, all course related material at our class website, our course website, that's the grantlab.org, followed by our official course number, our course code, if you will. So that's the grantlab.org followed by that course number. So uh, new content will be uh, released at the start of each week throughout the throughout the quarter and this will include a kind of weekly menu that has multiple short uh, kind of talking head lecture videos such as this one there'll be between three and four of those uh, each week they'll be short 10 to 15 minutes no more than that and here I really aim to kind of emphasize the importance of what we're dealing with in a given week as well as any necessary fundamentals to get you up and running with the kind of content that we're going to cover in more depth and in more uh, fun ways really in the hands-on sections of this course so these are larger um, longer uh, hands-on sessions that we'll have where you actually will use the bioinformatics tools and resources as well as learning uh, coding in this kind of task-oriented approach so you can think of these, the second component here, really as equivalent to the lab section of our traditional face-to-face -face class that we would normally have in a, in a regular uh, quarter on campus. And these kind of talking head videos, that first com uh, component there, more akin to the lecture section of a traditional class. So now there'll also be <laughs> there'll also be homework each week. Sorry to tell you that, but this is important, right? It, it reinforces what we're uh, what we're learning. It helps me to assess how well I'm doing at getting across this material, and that will consist of uh, a combination of one or more of uh, little short uh, quizzes that are done online. Obviously, there'll also um, be a grade scope submissions where you'll submit some of the material from your hands-on session so we can monitor how you're doing and, and what's what's going well and what's maybe not going well so we can address those as we go through as well as a data camp uh, assignment so data camp is if you haven't heard of it it's an online learning environment that we're going to use that we're very fortunate to have uh, for these courses that is going to help us learn uh, coding outside the traditional classroom environment. It'll uh, it'll give you feedback on wh when you get things right and when you get things wrong and try and motivate you to follow various best practices for learning this coding and data analysis frameworks that we're going to uh, learn together in uh, this course. And I'll introduce you to DataCamp, how to access it uh, and use it when, when we actually get to that section of the course in week two. So you'll also get the opportunity uh, to interact extensively with our IAs, our instructional assistants on this course. And I'll introduce you to our instructional team in, a, in another short video in a moment or two. And we'll have uh, office hours each week that will be led by both myself and the IAs, as well as a discussion board on Piazza. That's the framework we're, uh, we're, we're gonna use for the discussion board for this quarter. So now if, if you have questions or concerns at any time and you can't access this, access uh, help via one of those mechanisms, via the office hours or the discussion board, then please just reach out by email. We're actually you know, very happy to help and uh, we're here to help you and support your learning as best we can in this challenging kind of environment. So please do reach out by email and, uh, and let us know. Uh, let me just re-emphasize that, that that critical point there at this early stage of the course. You know, we'll be releasing new material every week that will typically be at the start of the week on the Monday or Tuesday. And critically for you, homework is going to be due by midday. That's 12 p.m. San Diego time on the Friday of a of a given week. So we'll have the weekend for, for more fun things, right? Um, so at this stage, there are two major things that I want you to pay particular attention to online. That is our pre-course uh, survey, so I can learn a little bit more about you and uh, why you want to take this course, what your motivations are, what you'd really like to learn in a course like this. And of course, these things kind of come more naturally in a traditional face-to-face -face course. We don't have that. So please do, if you get a chance, take a, a little moment or two, 10 minutes or so to fill out that survey. It, it really helps frame the kind of content that we'll 
that we'll uh, cover in the rest of the, the course. We have quite a bit of scope to change things up and uh, make it most useful for you. So please fill that in. Uh, and then the other thing is the software setup instructions that you'll find full details of online. Of course, uh, you know, this quarter, actually in all previous quarters too, we use your own uh, laptops for this course. And this is important because we don't want to be reliant on some idealized computer lab somewhere on campus that has all the software just set up and you just come in and it works. That's not reality. You know, we want to set up your machine so you're all set to do real world cutting edge bioinformatics on your own hardware. And then you'll be able to do it anywhere, right? When you go to a new lab or your existing lab or some new environment in the future, you'll be able to get these best practices, uh, uh, follow them and actually use these tools on your own in that kind of environment. And that's an important goal for this course. So with that, you know, uh, your homework for this week zero, if you will, is to take that survey, please set up your laptop with all the necessary uh, software and tools that we're going to be using throughout the course. And then please also uh, familiarize yourself with uh, the course website. We're actually, you know, that's the central organizing hub for everything to do with the course. Everything will be posted there and documented there, including these videos and, and other material and homeworks and the like. So please do have a quick look when you get a chance and get familiar with the layout and the logistics of that course website. We will spend a little bit of time in office hours uh, helping with software setup if you have any issues, so just let us know. We do, of course, want to expedite this less interesting part of uh, of uh, of the setup, right? getting things installed, and, and so we can actually get to more fun stuff, actually doing uh, the bioinformatics that we're here to, to learn together. And that's the whole point and the whole purpose of this course is to do a very skills-based, hands-on, applied uh, treatment of bioinformatics so you can actually get up and running and answer your own research questions as soon as possible. Okay, with that, welcome to class. Thank you uh, for your attention. I'll see you in our next set of videos where we'll cover, cover some of these important questions here, including what is bioinformatics? why you should want to learn bioinformatics and be keen to improve your knowledge of bioinformatics. So a little bit of uh, the motivation that I think uh, will, will help you stick with a course like this. And then what specifically you'll learn in this course, our learning objectives. Uh, and finally, as a bonus, you'll hear from our IAs and myself and hear a little bit about our research background in bioinformatics and computational biology and uh, maybe even some of our favorite bad dad jokes and things like that. So thank you very much uh, for your attention and I'll see you next time. Bye.